Uh, tomorrow's State of Downtown. Let's bring in Downtown Fresno Partnership CEO, Aaron Blair. How's it going, Aaron? It's going well. Good to see you. Thank Are you, you excited? Yeah, we're excited. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, ready for it to yeah. go and be a success. When, 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 when I found out that you were going to come down today, I'm like, yeah. how does he have time to do this? But thank you for coming down. Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, the people at home that... Uh, don't know exactly what state of the downtown yeah. is. Explain it a little bit. Well, this year it's actually going to be completely different. So we, we have it at a happy hour. So from 4.30, 5.30, uh, we have happy hour during the event. Uh, it's going to be a lot of heavy video content. Uh, the mayor will be speaking. Dr. Castro from Fresno State will be speaking. Uh, obviously, our organization will speak. But what we try to do is break up the event to keep it with high energy, a lot of video announcements. We are going to launch a couple new economic development programs. Uh, to really jump start downtown over the next two years. So it should be a really cool event, actually. Anything that you can talk about now? Um, sure, yeah. Okay. Well, let's, I mean, we'll start with this. We actually have a signature cocktail that we're going to be uh, rolling out on what in the lounge part of the Pacific Southwest building. And so um, our, one of our local mixologists is creating that cocktail, so that'll be cool. Uh, we also are doing a restaurant makeover program, which uh, is for all of our downtown restaurants only. Um, and then also we're doing a business competition uh, called Create Here, and it's going to be a nationwide push, so it's not limited just to Fresno. Um, again, it's competition-based, so bring your best and greatest, most innovative idea and submit it to the competition and be extremely creative because that, that weighs in heavy. The mayor should be speaking? Yep, the mayor speak at the at the beginning and then Dr. Castro and then myself. I, I'm sure part of her speech is going to be how, her, about her Valentine's Day here on the show with me. I'm right. sure it will. I've heard it, 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 it was very special. It was it was amazing. It yeah. was a, an amazing day. I, I can't, can't uh, believe that she even made the time for me. Uh, the, the event, mm -hmm. there, there's going to be a lot of people there. Yeah, we expect to sell out. I mean, we're very close right now to selling out. Uh, today will be kind of our last our last opportunity for tickets most likely if you don't get them you know before close of business it'll probably be uh, sold out so we encourage you to to get them soon uh peter mordike's gonna be playing there i understand yep you yeah. got the ukulele king of the san joaquin yeah. out there so that's in our signature downtown cocktail lounge he'll be up there playing the ukulele we'll have uh, who's the mixologist uh Miriam. Miriam. Yeah. Oh, you, you got you got yourself a good one right yeah, there. Yeah. So we went for the best. You know, we don't want anything but the best. So that's what we went after. The best. Uh, is is a lot of this state of downtown going to be talking about Fulton Corridor? Nope. It's actually going to be about the future of downtown. So obviously, it's going to open up with a lot of talk about you know what we actually have accomplished because we've accomplished a lot. Uh, we're going to segue into some exciting things that Fresno State is doing with Fresno State Downtown. Um, and then we'll also talk about the future of our organization and the programs and what we're doing to really take it to the next level, push it over the ledge and keep going. Do you feel like people are buying in now? Yeah, there's actually quite a bit of buy-in, and so that's what's, that's what's so great about this event. We don't have to approach the event and, uh, you know, you have to support sell it, downtown, right? <laughs> come downtown. You know, we, we, we have the support right now. At this point, it's, it's just a matter of us uh, pushing down on the acceleration pedal and seeing how fast we can do it. Awesome. So. Uh, what's going on south of Inyo? South of Inyo actually is probably, if you want to put some wage down, that's going to be the popular part of downtown in the next several years, in my guess. Um, obviously, the beer garden south of Inyo, um, the new Bitwise is south of Inyo, the new Fresno State Downtown Center south of Inyo. So, I mean, there's several things in the works right now. Did I hear south Terrence Frazier's getting in on it? Terrence Frazier, south of Inyo. Yeah. yeah. He owns a whole block down there, south of Inyo. So, you know, the new Heron Jaguar. So, south of Inyo is a good spot to be right now. So um, just watch out for that area. That's the hot spot. And are you talking Fulton, south of Inyo, or all the, all the, all the streets? Yeah, I would just say south of Inyo, period. Um, Fulton, obviously, is, is one. But, I mean, Van Ness is popping right now even from H Street, anything near the stadium is quite popular right now with people looking and calling me. So, What about the uh, in between the stadium and Smart and Final? That's Terrence Frazier's South is that what that is that, where, where, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I've yeah. been looking at that area for so long Such thinking this cool could be area. something really uh, cool. Yeah, it really is. It's a cool area. I mean, I... You know, I was in a meeting yesterday and just listening to Jake, uh, owner of Bitwise, talk about, you know, what they're working on. 
just that alone is going to transform downtown. So. Talk about that, because Bitwise was in the paper yesterday. Yeah, Bitwise, their new location there, which is south of Inyo, is, um, is right there on Van Ness, and uh, it, they're just exploding. I mean, they have this project underway, and it's already completely full of tech companies. They're, you know, they're already scouting out other locations to continue to expand. Like I said, you know, the big deal of Fresno State downtown that Dr. Castro is going to talk about. I mean, there's so many things in the works that if we just keep on pumping them up, it's going to be quite popular. So, uh, when, when, when are we starting on the removal of the Fulton Mall? Yeah, so this, we're, we're hoping that it's still this summer. I mean, I know the timeline feels like it's shifting a little bit, but, you know, that's natural for a big project. So, uh, 2015, how about that? This um, year? Yeah, it'll be this year. I mean, we hope that it's this summer. So, yeah, this year. And, and when you do it, do you, do you do it block by block? Or all at once? Yeah, I think it's right now it's going to be up to the contractor, but I think the initial talk was that maybe they put the road through first and then take the sidewalks block by block just to minimize the impact to the businesses. Um, you know, the first part, I, I saw an artist out there yesterday who was studying his sculpture and figuring out, you know, what he has to do to, to move it so he can get it fully restored and then put it back on the mall. So, you know, that was cool to see the, meet the actual artist, and he's trying to figure which, out. Which artist? I, I couldn't even remember his name at this point, <laughs> sorry. But. Uh, talk about the Mariposa Mall. Yeah. So Mariposa Plaza is actually going to be a cool thing. Um, we There's a grant right now that we're working with a large group of people on how we're going to activate the Mariposa Plaza, whether it's with huge LED light walls or, uh, you know, permanent stage, stuff like that. So we're, you know, we're looking at that as well because we want, that's the center of downtown. It's the center of Fresno region, really. So And it's going to connect kind of with the high-speed rail station? Yep. That's the spine of downtown Mariposa. So... You know, for visitors, when they get off the train at high-speed rail, their first view of Fresno is going to be Mariposa Plaza. So that little block is critical when we look at uh, downtown. I, uh, I'm i going to San Jose this weekend. That's a cool city. Uh, they're, they're getting really into these high-rise apartment buildings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the apartments in, down, uh, in downtown Fresno are cool, yeah. and they're certainly not $7,000 a right. month to right. live, uh, live in them. How, how, what, what's going on with the building of the, the residences down there? Yeah, so we have, uh, you know, I think our most expensive ones are, I mean, they're under $2,000, but the, again, that'd be like the Pacific Southwest like building where one. you have this amazing New York City style loft. Um, but yeah, we're seeing new projects that people are starting to discuss, whether it's the rehab of uh, second, third, fourth, fifth floors of buildings to some new construction. Uh, again, on the south side of the mall and probably at the north end of the mall as well. That'll probably be anywhere from five to seven stories, I'm guessing. Um, that's a pretty good height for our street width. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, I, I hear there's something going on in the old stage three. Yeah, I hear that too. I hear, I hear rumblings of it, and we'll see what comes out of that. But, yeah, I heard that too. That's exciting stuff. Yeah. Uh, anything else I should know about? No, just be prepared for these. You know, we'll be back to tell you about our Create Here program. And, you know, I think it's a great opportunity for someone that, you know, maybe does their own talk show and wants to put in their thing because they want to move to Mariposa Plaza and have a screen, you know. To <laughs> oh, Aaron, our, to Aaron always trying here. to get me to do the show downtown. <laughs> you know what? I'd love to. Yeah. I really so. would. Aaron Blair, thanks hey, a lot. Thank you. Uh, we're going to give away a couple tickets yep. to the state of downtown. That's, yep. that's, that's big. Yeah. Okay, so if you guys want to win two tickets to go to state of downtown, uh, and then tell me, I believe me when I tell you it's going to be a great event, call 579-1090 right now. It's tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock? 4.30 is when happy hour starts. The event officially starts at 5.30, but don't miss happy hour. No. I'll be there at 4. Yeah. All right, call now, 579-1090. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, bud.